welcome, welcome. I am so glad you joined me for Epi 18. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am Kathleen and I am here to give you some alternative facts, honey. Oh, wow. First up, the Dakota pipeline situation. They have a new law in Dakota, in the state of in, in Dakota, that says it is lawful to hit a protester. Now, I should say that differently. I should say it like this. If you hit a protester unintentionally, the law allows you to not be punished for that. So that's not the same as you could just go out there and hit protesters. However, I, I don't even know why they made that a law. Like, seriously. I don't know. Is it so the person can save on insurance if they hit somebody? I don't know. Clearly, you can see a whole person um, standing in the street. I mean, you know, protests are at high volumes now. People are protesting all over the place. And surely... I agree with them protesting in Dakota because look at what they're doing to our Native American citizens. It's disgusting. It's appalling. Um, I guess in the end, I would say to the protesters, please, guys, please, please just be safe because, you know, there are some, you know, crazy people who will use that right to do something nasty to you. So just be careful. And to the politicians, stop making laws that help people commit crimes. Next up is Chris Brown and Karushi Tran. I, I'm feeling some type of way about this. Let me explain how I'm feeling about this. Chris Brown, call me. I'm, I'm being very, very serious. DM me. Dude, somebody need to help you. It, 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 you need an evangelist slash psychologist slash therapist. Something needs to happen here. I'm, I'm afraid, you know, I, I take everything, you know, seriously, especially when it comes to someone who seems to have some type of, of, uh, what do you want to call it? You have this, um, you know, I can't stop, you know, I want you this type of desperate attitude towards another human being. And, you know, domestic violence is really a thing. It's really real. You know, for some reason, um, people feel like it's okay to stalk people and to harass people. Chris Brown, I don't care how much you love this young lady at, at any point in your life back off like seriously I don't know what's going on in your head but you know things happen in seconds and you already have a history with Rihanna that everybody knows about so Chris I'm serious reach out to me hit me in my DM I'll be glad to come spend some time with you and 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 you know I don't know I just want to help you that's just real talk like I, this is a nightmare and you're young, you're rich, you're, you're gorgeous, you're talented. Please just pull back, you know, go, go do something, some type of meditation or something. It just breaks my heart. I'm serious. Boy, next up is this Ivanka Trump. This won't be long, honey. She tweets and you're looking at the tweet. America is a nation um, built on the principle of religious tolerance and protect. Okay. I asked the question. I'm being very serious. Do we need to call Murray? Because I'm thinking we need to find out who this girl daddy is. Cause clearly, um, she has not been paying attention. I mean, she just like woke up, um, from a long nap. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm asking, I'm asking y'all. I'm not being funny. Did she just wake up from a long nap? Because your dad, i.e. the president, they say, um, he just had a Muslim ban in place. Did she uh, miss that? Or, you know, was she on some Bush daughter stuff? Oh, you remember those Bush daughters?
So I had to get me a little water there. So I'm just curious. What's the deal, Ivanka? I mean, they already booed you out of Nordstrom's and <laughs> whatever other stores you were in. Ivanka, I'm just going to say this. I actually have a pair of your shoes. I bought them on clearance at like this outlet store. And uh, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. It was just so goofy of me. Ivanka, I'm going to say this. Um, it's going to be very hard for you to have this message of tolerance when your father is basically a pig in a blanket and he has zero tolerance. So I don't know. You might just want to uh, talk to your dad and come to an agreement about how you're going to treat all American citizens. How about it? Cash me outside. Okay. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Can I get a hip, hip, hooray for Magic Johnson? This guy's a beast. Like, seriously, he is out there investing. I mean, he has to be feeling, well, he over it now, but, you know, I'm sure he saw the train coming, but... I mean, you could, I don't know. I think he would feel some type of exhilaration. Just he played for the Lakers. Now he's the president of operations for the Lakers. This has got to be like uh, mind blowing for him. I'm just happy to see your brother doing his thing. Like he's an investor. He invested in Starbucks, movie theaters, um, some, some tower, you know, they, they went in and renovated it and turned it into luxury apartments and all of that. Magic Johnson really has his hands on a lot of things. Now they said his net worth is about $700 million. I, I believe they already said he broke. I thought they already said he broke that billion dollar rank like a couple of years ago. I think they had him at like 2 billion, but Hey, 700 million. I'm just saying, Magic, can I get one? Just one million. <laughs> and finally, Miss Cynthia Bailey. Miss Cynthia Bailey, we all know her from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, she was married to Peter. Remember that wedding where the sisters stole like the license and whatever? <laughs> well, Cynthia Bailey says, hey, look, I'm turning 50. I'm about to turn up. I'm like, Cynthia, turn down, honey. You serving too much life. Well, she opted to do a photo shoot to celebrate her 50s. And we all know she's a gorgeous woman. She was a supermodel. So, you know, hey, she is all the way up. Okay. So Cynthia did this photo shoot and she posted the pictures on Instagram. Now, we all love Cynthia, like I said, married to Peter. And I think we all knew it was kind of a fiery mix from the beginning because Peter well, he's Peter. And Cynthia, I mean, you know, she's a little spicy. She can bring it. So, hey, as Mr. Brown would say, this is a celebrate. And it looks like she got her celebration on. Anywho, that's it for this edition of Let's Talk. I'm Kathleen giving you alternative facts, honey. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share. Okay, comment, repost, share again. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. 